deal. Uh, Krista, when you look at the change that was made um, from some of the motions and et cetera that we've read uh, leading into this situation, it looks like case law dating back almost 50 years determined that it had to be an act that was eminently dangerous to others, with others meaning large groups. So if you shot a gun into a crowd, not particularly aiming at anyone, you know that's an eminently dangerous act. Someone could die. If they died, you get charged with third-degree murder. You drive a car into a, a crowd, same thing. You might not be aiming for anyone in particular, but if someone dies, third-degree murder. But now, you can be, your act can be towards one person. I want to get your reaction to that. Well... Michael, I think what you're talking about is correct. You know, in law school, we learn that third degree murder is is those types of examples. And I found myself this morning when I was listening to oral argument mesmerized by Neil Katya, who is a, a brilliant um, oral argument um, at oral argument. Um, and he he was bringing up other cases. And so I curious and looking and I'm finding other cases as well where there's examples um, state versus Carlson is one of them where a 1982 court found that a single shot aimed at a single person could constitute a depraved mind and uh, justify a conviction for um, for third degree murder which is the nor case so nor the principles in NOR have been around for a while. I just believe that they have not been argued that frequently. And so this is bringing this to the forefront now and probably really making the law in Minnesota turn in a, in a completely different direction. Yeah, it sounds like then, from what the, the argument you're making, as well as the one that Neil Katyal made, was that this is the trend and that Minnesota perhaps hadn't caught up and now they're sort of turning in that direction. Mm -hmm. Now, Chanley...